I'm a little upset with myself. Uh, I left all my film at home. I have six shots left of HP5 in the Fuji uh, because that is a six by nine negative. So I only get eight shots to a roll of 120 film. I have a Polaroid like the little mini instant camera, no film. I have my Nikon F3, no film. So today might be an early day, uh, but, but I did bring the drone. <sighs> All right, well, <laughs> I guess today just wasn't meant to be. Um, so I got the drone up. Um, I'll show the, you know, couple seconds of footage maybe. Um, but I realized I wasn't logged into my DJI account. Uh, and that means I'm restricted to 30 meters height and 50 meters distance. So I got out here a little bit and then it would just stop. I didn't realize that. So I got it back. I forgot my password. <laughs> so uh, the drone is out of the question today. Um, good grief. You know, this reminds me of a video I just watched from Thomas Heaton, and I'll link his channel down below. He's an excellent photographer. He's a landscape guy uh, based out of the UK. And I mean, I fell in love with him the first video I watched. He's just so easy to watch, down to earth, he's funny, and he takes these amazing photos. Anyway, one of his videos that I just watched yesterday talks about kind of the, it, the process of photography. And it's not always about the end result. Um, granted, you want that end result. You want that frameable photo at the end of the day, right? But if you don't get that, it's not a bust completely. You know, it's, it's the process, it's the adventure, it's getting outside in nature, it's getting off the couch, away from the TV, away from the computer, and enjoying the outdoors. Um, and you know, I just said that this was a bust, and it is in the sense that <laughs> I didn't come prepared at all. Uh, you know, I had all this in my head yesterday, um, knowing I wanted to go out and I'm thinking, you know, checklist in my head. I need to have a checklist on paper. Uh, that way, hopefully I don't forget all my film. I'm not logged into the accounts I need to be logged into. Uh, however, I do have one camera. I also have my digital camera here that I'm recording this on. So, you know, worst case scenario, I can take some digital images. Uh, but I do have the Fuji. I do have six shots left. It is a beautiful day. So what we're gonna do is take the hike back down to the car. We're gonna drive around this hill and I'm gonna walk to where I wanted to get some photos. Um, there's a lot of cool graffiti under the bridge as well. Uh, I'm not sure how well that would turn out on film, but you know, we can see. Uh, I do have a very cool app on my phone that um, kind of simulates different lens um, focal lengths, uh, cameras, negative size, film, you know, emulation. Um, so I might test it with that first just to see kind of uh, what I would be getting on film. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I could be bummed and completely, you know, upset and just say, screw it, I'm going home. Um, but no, I'm gonna make the most of this. First of all, I'm taking my jackets off and putting them in the car because it's getting warm out here. Um, second of all, I got a camera still. 
Um, and, you know, and if I don't take any other photos, it was a nice day to get outside. So, <laughs> I just, uh, you know, checklist on paper, maybe. If you're shooting film, don't forget all your film at home. All right, let's go. Cause you know the world is beautiful, so beautiful. Cause you know the world is beautiful, so beautiful. And I just can't hide how I feel about you. Nothing can take that away. Cause you make the world so beautiful, so beautiful. Let's see if I can do this without getting run over by a car. Doesn't look like anybody's coming that way. I don't know. What do you think? Might be a good shot. Let me figure this out. Hopefully I'm centered. There we go. If I can do a see what that would look like using the app if I did a landscape oh that's pretty nice somebody's shooting their freaking guns out there there we go all right all right all right all right Seven. Okay, I'm going to try. The sun just came out, which is kind of a bummer. Ha! Never thought I'd say that. Although, 250th F22. I got some details and shadows. I got some nice clouds. I angled that, put that right in the center. 320th, F22 at 320th. Ooh. And three, two, one. All right. I think I got one more shot. One more shot. What do we get with the very last shot? Start headed back that way. So I think I've found my last composition. 
and that's just looking down the row of arches there. Um, pretty much, I think what you see on screen right now is pretty close to uh, what my composition is going to be. So I'm going to be shooting at f16 two fiftieth. F16 two fiftieth. All right, Nate, don't screw this last one up. All right. I got just a little sky. I got the whole row. Three, two, one. Bam. That's all she wrote. That's it, that is it. So, now that I'm done with that roll, make sure I'm not bumping the mic too much, sorry. Um, that's the only roll of film I got. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. So I think I've about done today, it's noon. I've been out for a couple hours. Kind of go home, get some lunch. I'm gonna develop this roll of film. Hopefully a couple of them came out. Now, if they did come out, you would see them inserted throughout this video. Uh, if I don't have anything else come to mind on the way back or once you know I get to the car, uh, I'll just end the video here and say thank you so much for coming along with me today. I really appreciate it. Let me make the hike back. Thank you again for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe if you are so inclined. Um, it really does mean a lot to me. Um, the community is pretty good. You know, I enjoy all of you. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And until next time, bye. Let's get out of here.